Hey everyone, it's Steve from Strive For More. I hope you're doing great on this wonderful Sunday morning, getting ready for week two of NFL kickoff here. I wanted to share something with you as I'm out here on a long training run for Ironman Florida and a nice recovery run from Ironman 70.3 Lake Placid. And that's about proper fuel and hydration during your races and during your training runs. And the reason why I wanted to share that with you is it's a big part about staying on point in terms of the pace you want for your race and also the energy level to do that throughout your race. So as we run, we bike, we swim, we do endurance events, we're burning primarily carbohydrates as our energy source. And we need to replenish that as we race or as we run for extended periods of time. And typically we can only digest about 30 to 60 grams of carbs an hour. So if you're out there and you're running for activities that last longer than an hour, that means you want to get about 30 to 60 grams of carbs in to replenish the energy store that you're burning. Now that comes in all different types of forms. It can be blocks, gels, gummies, lots of different products out there, lots of different brands that make those for us. And if you're like me, who burns about 100 calories an hour, excuse me, 100 calories a mile, and I'm out there doing a half marathon, that's about 1,300 calories. But if you think about that, say, hour, 45 minutes, and if I'm up at that upper limit, 60 grams of carbs, I'm at about 105 grams of carbs times four. So I'm only able to really take in about 420 calories. So there's a significant deficit which shows kind of that need for why we have to replenish. So on that point, one other thing that complements that is our hydration. And as we work out and we sweat, we lose electrolytes, which are salts in our bodies. And again, there's a lot of different products out there that'll help you replenish it. And one thing that I would encourage is to look at what's actually in those mixes whether they give you extra carbs, whether they're just straight electrolytes. And the reason being is a lot of these products have primary sugars or added sugars rather in as their carbohydrate source. Carbs are naturally sugar, but it's the added sugars you wanna be careful of. If you have too many added sugars and you're sensitive to that, that can make you queasy, can make you feel like you don't wanna eat and it can be a detriment to you. So as you explore, all of these options for you just be cautious of what you have actually in the products that you're using and the last thing i want to note on this is to try them out whether you're on a long run or maybe you have a couple races on the schedule that aren't that a race that priority race try out your products in all of those situations and adjust you know i recently switched from brands during my last half iron man and that made a huge, huge difference. I went from something that had a lot of added sugars to something that had no added sugars. And it was fantastic <laughs> for me because I didn't feel queasy. I was able to eat and drink for my plan and have my best half, man, half Iron Man yet. So I hope you guys find this helpful. As always, you can reach out to me via direct message, via email, steve at strive for more. And that's the word for F-O-R, not the letter, uh, excuse me, not the number. Or go to www.striveformore.com. Hope you guys enjoy your Sunday. Talk soon.